Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. Dear students, this is second lecture of skeleton of sponges. Skeleton in case of phylum Porifera. As we know, in this phylum Porifera, in sponges, the skeleton mainly consists of fine needle-like crystalline structures. These are named spicules or saccharides. And these spicules are classified on the basis of size. On the basis of size, these are grouped in two classes. The smaller one are named microsacculars, while the spicules which are larger in size are mega -seculars. The spicules are also classified on the basis of chemical nature. Dear students, please note down. On the basis of chemical nature, the spicules are of two types, calcareous spicules and siliceous spicules. Calcareous. In these spicules, the deposition of calcium carbonate, while in case of siliceous spicules, the deposition that occurs in the form of silica. And mainly the spicules are classified on the basis of shape structure. On the basis of their shape, the spicules are of six types. Monoaxons, triaxons, tetraaxons, polyaxons, spheres and decimals. In case of monoaxons, only one axis is there. And these monoaxon spicules are developed from one saccharocytes. Triaxon spicules, hexaactinal spicules, hexaactinal spicules means, dear students, these spicules having six rays, and these spicules are produced by the union of three saccharocytes. Tri jaws by the union of three saccharocytes. The saccharocytes are the spicule forming cells are named saccharocytes. In case of mono jaws, only one saccharocyte gives rise a spicule. But in case of these tri jaws, hexaactinal spicules, three saccharocytes unite to produce a tri jaw spicules. These are some types of triaxons. Here, the structure of triaxon that is regular hexactine. All the rays which develop from the central axis are almost equal in size. This is the modification of triaxon. It is pentaactine. Instead of hexaactine, it is pentaactine. This spicule is formed by the loss of one ray. Dear students, note down, it is pentaactine. Means five rays are there. Only five, one ray gets lost. This is again a modification of triaxon. It is pinule. Here in this pinule, one axis one axis gets elongated like SWAT. It is named penule. That is a modification of triaxon. Tetraaxon spicules. Tetraactine means four rays develop from the central axis. So these are named quadriradiate. Four rays arise from the central axis. And these tetra jones are formed by the, by the union of, by the fusion of four saccharocytes. mono spicules are derived from one saccharocytes. These tri spicules are formed by the union of three saccharocytes. And these tetra spicules are formed by the union of four saccharocytes. These are some modifications of tetraxons. This is calthrops, that is four rays 
in this calthropes four rays almost equal in size more or less these are equal in size this is very important it is tri now down it is a modification of tetrahedron out of these four rays three rays are smaller and these smaller rays are named clads and collectively they constitute a cladon and this longer rays it is wrapped on trine one ray gets elongated and three rays are shorter in size these are smaller rays and these are named clads cladi and collectively they constitute a cladon and this longer ray that is wrapped on in this di here this longer ray it is wrapped on but in this part out of three only two smaller rays are present it means one smaller ray gets lost it is di means this cladom having two smaller rays it is trine the cladom is produced by three smaller rays three clads or cladi tri radiate or it is triode here all three smaller rays are present as in this dye one smaller ray get lost but here in this tri radiate triode the longer ray gets lost all three smaller rays the clads which collectively constitute a cladom only three clads are present but this longer ray gets disappeared amphi disk this is the central elongated rhabdom both ends of this rhabdom may consist of a simple disk or it consist of spiny disk on both the ends these are amphi disk next type next type of spicule on the basis of shape structure polyaxon spicules not down polyaxon spicules these spicules having several rays which radiate from the central axis and these rays may terminate either their ends are pointed so these are named oxyesters each ray and its terminal terminal end that is pointed then it is oxyester the terminal terminal end of this ray having blunt end and such type of polyaxons such type of polyaxons these are strong ester and in this tilaster the terminal end of each ray that is knob like almost rounded dear students the polyaxon spicules these are named polyaxon means each polyaxon having several rays and these rays develop from the central axis and these polyaxon spicules are derived from several saclerocytes these are classified on the basis of terminal end of each ray either pointed ends of a ray then these are oxyester blunt ends of the ray then these are strong ester and the terminal end which is knob like almost rounded knob like then these are tilasters next type is spheres as name indicates these are almost rounded spicules here see here in this diagram look here this is rounded spherical in shape the spheres and the growth occurs in the form of concentric ring over this central axis these are spheres desma this is the last type of spicules these desmas are commonly called crapets 
these are the modifications of mega seculars the large sized spicules gets modified and they become almost ir irregular the shape becomes irregular due to deposition of silica and that silica gets deposited over the original spicules and the original spicule may be monoexon may be triexon may be tetraexon so these are named mono crapets triexon having deposition of silica then these are tricrapids tetracrapids means tetraexon the original spicule and that gets that shows the deposition of silica and the shape becomes almost irregular this is all about types of spicules dear students note down we have classified spicules on the basis of their chemical nature either calcareous having calcium carbonate or these are siliceous having deposition of silica types of spicules on the basis of their size two types larger size mega seculars the smaller size micro seculars and the types of spicules on the basis of shape and structures these are classified into six groups monoexons having one axis and these monoexons are derived from one seculoides one seculoroides triexons or hexactinal having three axis and these triexons having six rays which develop from the central axis and these are formed by the fusion of three seculoroides tetraxons having four rays which develop from the central axis polyxons several rays arise from the central axis the spheres which are almost rounded having a central axis and that central axis gets surrounded by concentric rings and these are desmas which are irregular in shape and the shape becomes irregular due to the deposition of silica over the original spicule commonly these are named crapets dear students in our next lecture we will discuss development of spicules thank you